When there's a collision or something like that that seriously backs up Deerfoot Trail, you're looking at 45 to 60 minute delays very often. And just with the regular volume that we see during the crush of the rush, it'll be 30, 40 minutes uh, from the south of the north end through the heaviest volume between Glenmore and Beddington. The busiest road in Alberta, Deerfoot Trail. The province says it's been over capacity for years and now an upgrade. This 21 kilometer stretch is getting northbound and southbound lanes. This is not uh, a situation where we're just throwing more money at it. We are reinvesting uh, money because I think we've invested in infrastructure uh, very wisely. So Kevin has driven from Beddington Trail all the way to Anderson, the whole 21 kilometers, and it took us, would you say, about 20 minutes, 25 minutes? And that's with no traffic. So when you're bumper to bumper, it is significantly longer. So this is a $478 million project. That includes those additional lanes along the 21 kilometers, as well as additional lanes at interchanges, like at Southland, Glenmore, and even 17th Avenue. I like the idea they're going to be doing some interchange upgrades. The one that really gets me right now is access from northbound Deerfoot to westbound Glenmore, where they funnel you through Deerfoot Meadows. It'll be good if they can upgrade that and make a more immediate interchange, because that's got to be one of the busiest uh, movements in the province, northbound Deerfoot to westbound Glenmore. The Anderson, Bow Bottom Trail and Memorial interchanges will also see more lanes. But south of Anderson, like here in Mackenzie Town, you won't be seeing any changes to Deerfoot Trail in this expansion plan. Well, I guess the bulk of the volume is definitely between Beddington and Anderson Bow Bottom in that area. But uh, definitely more and more people are moving to either end of the city. More expansion is taking place all over Calgary. So eventually they're going to have to make upgrades in the north end and the south end as well. The entire project will take three or four years with shovels hitting the ground in 2023. In Calgary, Kristen Fong, City News.